What is up, YouTube? Back again with another video. In today's video, man, we're going to be completely breaking down Modern Warfare 3 Season 2. Um, I just purchased Black so, so I've kind of gotten some stuff unlocked already. But we're going to go completely through everything they've added so far. Um, first through we're going to go through is um, the Battle Pass. So if you purchase... I'm going through this as a person who's bought the Battle Pass. I don't know why is the... By the way, the screen's a little flickery today. I don't know what's up with the game. So if it backs out randomly, that's why. Uh, but I'm going through as if you bought Battle uh, Black Cell because I do think Black Cell is the best deal overall. Um, so uh, if you're looking at this from this perspective of if you only buy the base version, then just ignore all the Black Cell content. So with that being said, let's get into it. So first off, you're gonna get is you're gonna get these two variants for the Sidewinder and SVA. Super dope looking skins, bro. I'm really digging the Black Cell skins this year. Um, Especially this season. This season has some really fucking sick guns and skins. I'm really hoping they don't bug out with mastery camos. I'm going to be working a lot today on rebuilding my guns um, with these cam uh, with these builds so that I can actually get game time with these builds. Um, but yeah, and then you get also the John Doe character, which is a uh, Call of Duty ghost it's like hybrid ghost, but like old school COD character. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Um, I think he's supposed to be a zombie skull character. He could very well be, but I think there's something deeper here. I think this is supposed to be um, some type of zombie ghost um, that they're trying to go for. But that's the initial stuff. And then we're going to work down from the right to the left, back up and around, and go to there. So next up we have um, is this little skin here, um, the scar skin, and then there's a regular skin version. Um, I actually like the reg skin a little more just because the bag with the glowing eyes is pretty sick um then a bunch of small stuff <laughs> that's not what i want to do uh, and then we have over here uh, is the new w uh w uh, the, the bp50 which is basically the w2000 um there's a black cell version and the regular version then their calling card some um some stuff for zombies which will be good for today because i'll be grinding the new guns out over there um for instant rewards for also for the black cell uh, you also get the Laswell skins, as you can see here. We also get the John, uh, the uh, Rick Grimes uh, skins as well. Uh, I might be rocking the regular for a little while, but I might switch to the to the, this one as well. I think this one looks better, um, visually wise anyway. Then we also get this finisher, uh, the 10% boost, and then we also get this variant as well of this gun, the MTZ. We get this skin, which is just another ghost skin. Um, there's a lot of ghost skins for some odd reason. I don't know what their addiction, uh, addiction is to ghosts, but they just been spamming ghosts nonstop. And then here we got this variant for the TAC Eradicator. Um, I'm really liking this. I really hope we get more uh, guns, um, like like more variants and guns for for Black Cells because I know last year what happened was a lot of the Black Cells were for the same guns over and over and over and over again. Which is cool that you have different types of back cells for each gun, but the problem is, is that it makes where if you want to choose one, it makes it feel like you're just you don't have you have too many options for one gun. I would like to see like maybe a black cell version for every gun in the game, um, specifically like the base guns anyway, um, especially since some of the guns don't get any love at all. But here we have more variants for guns as well. The uh, with the Bruin variant, we have a, a Ram Seven variant. Uh, and then we have this skin for Valeria, which is actually super sick. Her, like, eyes are, like, not in her head. They're, like, kind of sitting there, like, hovering almost. This is pretty sick looking. Then we have some COD points. More collectibles for zombies, which is really nice to see. Um, I think they said there's over 20 or something, or 50. It's like a crazy amount. So we we'll, should be seeing a lot of those in the next coming tiers. Then we have the Ram 9. So I have the variant for this, which is what I'm going to be using to grind today. But this is the base version. And then a bunch of small stuff. Uh, then we have this skin for Soap. Soap? So yeah, Soap looks so much better with the Black Cell version. I'm, again, I'm loving this like gold dripping effect. Because originally, a lot of the Black Cells were just base gold. Black and gold, which a lot of people hated. Um, I didn't really mind them. I liked them. Because I like black and gold. I think it's a good color scheme. Um, for the most part. 
But this, these new ones that they're coming out with, like the the, the dripping effect, you'll see that on some of the guns too, is 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 amazing, bro. I love it. I love that whole dripping effect because it adds something to the in-game environment as well. And then we have a variant for the uh, PKM as well. Over here we have a black style variant for the G36 um, DMR, which is the DM56. Um, and here's the base version as well. Pretty cool. Not too bad. I like the, the zombie fi This is definitely a zombie feel season with, the, you know, The Walking Dead and all that. Shadow Blast ammo. Um, and then we have some other smaller stuff as well. Karambit variant. All right. Don't really use a Karambit that off that much. But I'll be using it here going for the Ultra Mastery as well. Um, then we have this. The tier uh, Mercy Blueprint as well as, if it wants to load, this Black Cell version for Alpine. Uh, a character I don't really have any gear sets I think for right now at the moment. I don't know if I did anything for her or him. Um, so that's pretty cool. We have the the W two thousand base version again, which is something I did unlock. Um, then we have a Jeep skin for the UTZ and a couple con cards and emblems. Um, then we have Rick Grimes is Magnum. So the whole, the only thing I really don't like about this is that the fact that it's for an MW2 gun. I know a lot of people are excited that they are not scared to do MW2 guns. My problem is, is like, I don't like the Basculus compared to the tier. I think the tier is superior in every way. Um, so it sucks that you can't use Rick Grimes variant uh, for the tier, which is unfortunate. Um, here's another skin. This is supposed to be... I don't know. Let me go down below what you guys think this is supposed to be. I know some people are saying this is really unsettling. I've heard theories that it's like a womb or some shit. Um, or like the like a, like a piece of human skin covered gun. I, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It could just be marble. Um, but yeah, it, it's super unsettling to look at and something I'll probably run on the on the Renetti uh, going forward. Uh, and then over here, I don't know if I did the FAMAS yet, so we'll hit this one real quick. If I didn't, um, and then we'll head back up here. So if here we got the, um, next skin for Farah. Farah looks sick. I like Farah's skin. Um, again, the weak, the, the, the base skins are kind of weak, bro. This is what I say, man. If you're not getting the Black Cell, you're not getting the Battle Pass correctly, bro. Because Black Cell really is just the superior way to get the, the Battle Pass. It doesn't make any sense not to. Um, and then here's another variant for the Lockwood 680, which is good to see because uh, it is nice to see some shotgun variants because I'm, you know, as someone's going for the Ultra Mastery, I'm going to be forced to use them. And I would like to look at something that's kind of sick. And I like these, these 30 versions. Um, it adds some flavor to the, to the mix. Uh, and then we got the zombie dog, which is probably one of the biggest things I was excited for. I just love dogs in COD, man. I just like Riley and shit. And now we're getting a zombified version, which is super sick. And then obviously has some pack punch crystals. And then another variant for the HRM nine, which was last year's uh, last season's gun, not last year's last season's gun. Um, we have the T the XRK sniper rifle build, and again, look at this dripping effect. Looks so good, man. The default version actually doesn't look too bad either. The whole like it reminds me of a Halo gun almost with like the the symbols on it. But that could just be me. Uh, and then we have a variant for the Riveter as well. Some COD points here, and we also have this really super sick Crocious if it wants to load. Call of Duty, thank you. Um, I do believe this might actually glow. I don't know. I'm gonna do some testing with these and some um, and some maps to see if these glow because I think some of these might actually be uh, like interactive with the environment because um, it's like a zombie like dark aether build, which um, I have some some theories that it will be uh, like glow in the dark aether at least. Uh, and then we have Captain Price. Uh, Price skins look all right. Uh, I mean, the, you know, they, they have so many black cells for these characters. So it doesn't really bother me or really affect me in any way. I kind of just ignore them at this point. Because um, I think Price has like four different Price uh, black cell skins. So it's kind of just wild. Uh, and then here's a variant for the Striker 9. Some cob points and stuff in that one. And then we have the, the Ram 9, the new SMG, uh, the black cell, and the regular. So pretty cool. Some cryo freeze ammo mods too, and then for tier 100 we have the ghost shade black cell skin. And the regular, 
the regular warden skin and then the black cell warden skin and then we have a, another can, uh, gun that has that purple of a dark aether effect and this is why this is a tier 100 skin which is why i think that these glow and these have reactiveness because they're tier 100 they normally don't give a, a, a look like a skin like this it looks basic in the tier 100 unless there's something special about it so i think there's something special about these so looking forward to testing these out later on and then we have the finisher for um for my man uh rick grimes bro pretty pretty sick man um i think i showed those earlier i think when i was going through the battle pass like with the the r2 button it fucking showed that but whatever this is the black the battle pass as it sits right now we have one coming here in 27 days the battle pass only the season only lasts for 55 days so like i think april 7th i think is when this is over so not a very long season uh, there's two events coming we have the year of the dragon in two days and then today we have horde hunt coming today weekly challenges this is the new longbow build i don't know exactly what this does quite yet i think this is, makes it into like a, a an iron sight faster firing bolt action i don't 100 percent know i will know once i get some testing done um and then also we have the new weekly camo and this is a fucking banger bro this is such a banger bro like look at this camo man it's so good um I'm loving these weekly cam camos, man, and these weekly rewards. It's just so great looking at them. Um, and then also some other small things we have. Um, so we have a new, I believe there's a new score streak. I could be wrong. There's not. But I know there is a new uh, vest. So the new vest is called the Ninja Vest, which eliminates footsteps, uh, immune to movement reduction effects, bonus shuriken, and throwing enough ammo. And you also resupply their ammo every 25 seconds. You do, however, lose a glove and lose a gear. So this actually isn't going to be that great of a vest um, like we thought uh, initially. So probably won't be running this vest all that much, to be quite honest with you um because you lose that glove and the gloves are also very very important and you lose a gear slot as well which is kind of not chill man it's not chill at all um i believe there also may be some other stuff let's see the um, armory um army unlocks so yeah so you can get the ram 7 actually which is pretty cool so they added the ram 7 through the armory unlocks they also also added the, the double barrel kit for the RMR9, as well as the rifle kit for the tier, the flamethrower, and the, that new optic um, that was released. Also, all in the uh, armory. So if you guys missed those last season, you guys can still get them, which I really like to see that they're not completely just ignoring. Um, they're not completely ignoring, you know, that that people didn't always grind them. So that's all there as well. Um, They've added a bunch. They had a new com complete new fucking calling card challenges, if you may. Um, but they're kind of weak. There's no movement calling cards or anything, so it is what it is. Um, they also added uh, new levels as well. So you can go up to level 450 now, which is rough because I assumed it was going to be 250 because I thought every season was supposed to be 250 plus levels so next this season was supposed to be 500 the next season would be like you know 750 and then a thousand or and then you know a thousand 1250 uh or 1250 but they didn't to some reason this season they decided to only go up by 200 levels so it's quite odd they only did 200 levels but I guess it makes sense since they only gave us 55 days <laughs> with that being said that's pretty much the gist um obviously we have the horde event coming small map launch pick coming as well they added mono for two maps into the regular weekly rotation so uh when you go here to quick play um you will see that there's no mw2 mosh pit but mw2 maps are now in regular rotation which is really nice to see um so we'll be able to see some of those in the game as well uh, there's a new um rift in zombies so we meant to think of it there's a new rift in zombies as well tons of content bro i'm gonna be breaking everything down here we go into this today um i'll probably get this video out and then i gotta do some getting my stuff ready for the day for grinding and then we'll have more videos coming out in the next few hours the next day or two in the next week grinding the new stuff um and overall w update man w update i'm always i'm always hyped for these updates even if they feel like to some people like they're not good um 
because at this point in the game, I just want content. I don't really care if it's good or bad content at this point. Um, this game has been dry for the last like three and a half weeks almost, and I've been just really wanting content um, until we finally got some, and it's nice. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys found it helpful in any way through buying the Battle Pass, I do recommend it if you want, if you have the money and it's not going to hurt you financially, spend the 30 bucks and get the Battle Pass. Trust me, you'll you'll enjoy it more than you realize. Um, if you don't have the money, obviously don't get it because, you know, you don't want to break your, break your bank with it. But um, also another feature I just saw talking to you guys is actually you can change now daily and weekly. You can physically see it in the lobby if you hit your right analog on controller, which is super sick. Um... Don't know why this was took so long to become a feature, but it's nice to see that it's a feature. <laughs> but that being said, man, I'm going to end the video here so I can start getting stuff done over here for y'all. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.